Let's explore remixing and reimagining characters to create fun new sprites. There are two modes for drawing in Scratch. Bitmap mode allows you to edit photos and paint with pixels. Vector mode allows you to create and edit shapes. The sprite library contains a mix of bitmap and vector sprites. You can remix and reimagine either type of sprite, but for this exercise, we're going to focus on vector sprites. I am going to select the pieces of the Giga costume that I don't want and delete them. Now I'm going to go to the Choose a Costume library, and I'm going to look for the octopus. I only want the octopus's legs, so I'm going to use my Select tool to select all the legs, copy them, go back to Giga, paste them, and then I can change the order. I'm going to send these to the very back so that Giga's head is on top. That looks really cute, but maybe I want to make sure that Giga's hair matches the octopus legs. If I select Giga's head, I notice that the fill shows multiple colors. That's because Giga's head is a group. There's things with different colors inside of it. If I only want to select the red hair, I can use my reshape tool to just select the piece that is red and change the color. I can try to find the color by hand, or I can use my eyedropper tool to select the orange that I want. I notice the Giga has an outline in black, so I might select all of my legs and adjust the outline. Nice! Now I've got a very cool, very different Giga that I created using pieces of the scratch sprites that were already there. If I want to further manipulate, I can always use the reshape tool and do things like change the size of the mouth, change the curve of the hair, change colors, change outlines. I can do a whole host of things using these vector tools and just the sprites that I already have in the sprite library. The possibilities are endless. What will you create?